Hi friends, welcome to Video Thursday. I'm Wendy Irene and these videos are your source for inspired conscious living. Today I'm here to talk to you about summer and sunscreen and sun safety. I think it's a really important topic. I know for me personally, I feel like I tend to burn more than I ever used to and I don't know if it has to do with aging or possibly, you know, with the pollution, our ozone layer is not as thick, so I'm not sure what it is, but I know that skin cancer is on the rise and it's something that's really important to talk about. So usually you hear to get the recommended amount of vitamin D you need, which can come from the sun, you only need about 15 to maybe 20 minutes of sun exposure without sunscreen per day. After that, you can actually be causing damage to your skin, which is what we want to prevent. And that's where sunscreen comes in. So sunscreens can basically be broken down into two categories. There are the ones that use minerals to physically block the UV light from going into your skin. And then there's chemical sunscreens, which have to absorb into your skin and they absorb the UV light to help protect. So when it comes to picking a sunscreen, I'm a firm believer in using physical blocking sunscreen that uses minerals. So the ones that I look out for are ones that contain zinc oxide, that's my favorite, or titanium dioxide. And those are just minerals. And those are the sunscreens that, you, you know, especially the zinc oxide used to see back in the day, that were quite white on your skin. And we really developed uh, chemical sunscreens because we didn't want that very white glow on our skin. So you can see there, they take a little bit more to rub in. It's a little bit more effort to put on than say just spraying it everywhere. But I think it's really beneficial to go with the physically blocking sunscreens because a lot of the chemical sunscreens are considered, a lot of the chemicals in some of the chemical sunscreens are considered endocrine disruptors. Because they have to absorb into your skin, they take longer to be effective. So you usually have to wait about 20 minutes before you can go out into the sun if you want it to be working. Whereas the zinc oxide, for example, you, once you put it on, it's usually effective right away because it's blocking the light sitting on the surface of your skin, not getting absorbed down into your skin. So the chemical ones absorb into your skin and they also absorb the UV light. And what is scary is that, you know, endocrine disruptors can affect your hormones, which is particularly disturbing to me when it comes to children because they are developing. So I love to wear you know, a big sun hat and sunglasses. I think it's really important. You can actually find sun hats that are, you know, SPF 50 like this one, but I still think it's really important to wear your sunscreen. And the, uh, for me personally, many of you might know that I subscribe to Honest, the Honest company. So I use their sunscreen, which the only main um, active ingredient is zinc oxide in theirs. But you can go to ewg.org, which is the Environmental Working Group website, and you can find a list of many brands um, of sunscreens that are considered safe. For example, this is in the green category, low risk, and it's le a level one. So I feel much more comfortable using this on myself and on my children. And um, I like the idea of it sitting more on the surface of my skin and not getting absorbed into my skin as much because that absorption can let chemicals get into your bloodstream and I'm not a fan of that. And I definitely want to prevent any kind of free radicals in, you know, in my body. So keep in mind that I am not a medical expert or an expert on sunscreen. So this is just what I found out from my own personal research and wanted to pass along to you so that maybe you would be inspired to look further into the sunscreens that you're using. Many of us tend to put a lot of sunscreen on every day in the summer, so it's important that you know exactly what you're using. And I personally look 
where the zinc oxide or the titanium dioxide, it looks white, you have to rub it on more. It might not be as convenient, but to me, if it's even a little bit safer, it's worth the effort, especially when it comes to my children. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Come and find me at givelovecreatehappiness.com or at modernmom.com under the bloggers. Bye.